What I'm going to be reviewing today is the Wacom CTL 471 Bamboo. It's a really an entry level version of a drawing tablet. It's kind of pretty. I like the uh, sleekness of it, the feel of it. It's small. It's not going to take up a ton of desk space. In fact, I tuck this in right under uh, my desk. My desk is one of those slide out areas for a keyboard and I just tuck it right in there um, and let it charge. I leave my mouse on at the same time. It doesn't have a big uh, interruption or impact uh, to me using that and I really like this tool so I'm gonna move the camera down here so you can see uh, as I draw on this let's see if we can get that right there okay good so this is the Wacom it's on my desk normally like I said I store it underneath this is the pen that it comes with it's got uh, you probably can't see it here maybe two buttons on here so you've kind of got your clicks your right click and um, your left click built in here with this button I end up pushing these a lot on accident though but it's fair to say I am no artist I am not uh, claiming to be I don't do any digital media creation um, I'm pretty sloppy when it comes to art it's certainly something that didn't run in the family if you're looking for an entry-level tablet though I think this one's pretty cool. You can see my amazing drawings here that I have. Now, one thing I'll tell you right off the bat that's a little annoying to me is that your pen is not locked into the screen. So someone like me who has multiple monitors, uh, I kind of have to do this thing where I move it away across the sc screen several times in order to um, get the pen into the right area and I can easily slip out and over to the other monitor so that's annoying so here I drew a bird and I'll show you my fantastic art style here and uh, maybe we'll draw a little sword because that's nerdy right we'll draw a little sword this shows you just how fantastic I am at art and put some little details in there uh, coming over here and selecting some different tools you could do your shading if you know what you're doing. Um, there is pressure sensitivity, so if I press really hard, it gets dark. If I lightly press, it's very, very light, which is very cool. So this is about uh, the dimensions of this, 0 0.3 inches by 8.3 inches by 5.8 inches. comes in about a pound, uh, so it's pretty light. It's easy to use. Um, it does come with its own software. What I'm using here is an open source software called Krita. If you're wanting to get into using uh, tablets or doing any kind of art, Krita is a beautiful, well done open source um, software for uh, editing, doing art, a lot of the Photoshop uh, type uh, elements built into it for a lot cheaper because it's free. Um, and a lot of people recommended on the forums to check out Krita uh, because of just how amazing this tool really is. And uh, even with somebody who has no artistic ability like me, I think this looks beautiful. It's definitely my abstract art of the week. Now, there's some other things that come with the Bamboo software. They have a Bamboo suite. It's terrible, in my opinion. I haven't figured out how it would be useful. This is a note-taking program. Um, I guess I'm just not good enough with the pen um, but it just doesn't seem responsive and I could not take notes in a class with this at all so uh, some of the stuff they give you I don't know if it's just to show you technically what you could do with it but it's not anything I would but if you're getting one of these you're probably wanting to draw something so this connects via USB like I said, if you just keep the pen over into the corner, I can quickly grab my mouse. It doesn't interrupt anything, so I keep this tucked away under my keyboard. Uh, I think the Wacom is a really cool, uh, inexpensive, coming in about 70, 80 bucks uh, tool for you to use if you're getting into artistic design and that type of thing. So, um, my overall rating for this, for somebody like me, it's really hard to give a, a true review because I'm not an artist and I don't do this type of thing. Um, but I, I would say that certainly for entry or intermediate, uh, somebody on the go wants to connect this to the laptop and uh, knock out a few good pictures, 
Uh, I think it certainly would deserve probably three and a half to four out of five stars easily. Um, and there's just not a lot to take away from it, especially if you package it with Krita, the open source program, then you're only $80 into it flat and you've got a really great solution. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I think this is cool. Go pick it up. I got this as a present. I absolutely love it. Uh, haven't done anything amazing with it yet. Let's uh, turn that right side up for you. Haven't done anything amazing with it yet. Uh, my wife probably doesn't have high expectations that I ever will. But hopefully you can and you have some artistic skill and you can show some of the work that you've done. Until next time, get in there, try to break something. Talk to you then.